Hello, uh, Cam Stone family. Uh, my name is uh, Rabbi Yechiel Morris. I'm the rabbi of uh, Young Israel of Southfield, and our claim to fame is, of course, that we are the hometown of uh, Esti uh, Fleischman. Esti uh, grew up here in uh, Southfield, and uh, we're blessed still to have her, her mother as a member of our community here in Southfield. I'm standing in front of our Bnei Akiva board here at the, inside the, uh, the shul. We have uh, such a strong uh, connection to Camp Stone, to uh, Bnei Akiva, and to, uh, to Israel. Um, I'll tell you uh, quickly uh, one of my uh, favorite, uh, I've only been to Camp Stone once, unfortunately. I've been here for 18 years, only once, so I was actually able to make it to Camp Stone. And just to, uh, to give you a sense of my experience at camp, besides seeing and give, being given a tour, of everything uh, that uh, that makes the camp uh, so uh, special and wonderful. When I first arrived, I immediately uh, saw some of my students who I teach uh, here in, uh, in Farber Hebrew Day School here in, uh, in Southfield. And they said, Rabbi Morris, would you like something to, uh, to drink? They were working in the kitchen. I said, sure. I figured they'd take out a, uh, a, little, a cup of water and a cup of soda. And they, they brought out a couple of two liter bottles. I said, uh, guys, uh, thanks uh, so much. And where's the cup? He said, oh, Rabbi, take the bottle. So. That was my uh, camp uh, stone uh, introduction to uh, the, the warmth and the wonderful, uh, beautiful uh, embrace. I'll never forget uh, driving up to Camp Stone that one time I was there in the middle of a nowhere and all of a sudden seeing that Israeli flag uh, waving proudly right in front of the, uh, the camp. Um, it just introduced me to everything that's so special and so uh, unique about uh, Camp uh, Stone. Um, I'm making this video a few days uh, before we begin the, uh, the three uh, weeks the period in which we uh, think about uh, Israel, think about the destruction, the first and second uh, base of Migdash, and there's, uh, there's a beautiful insight of the Malbim, one of my favorite uh, insights in, in, in all of Jewish literature, where the Malbim uh, describes the, the Jewish people the, uh, as they're making their way on, tragically into exile, being sent off into Babel, the famous uh, Tehillim, Al Naros Babel, on the waters of uh, ba uh, Babylon, Sham Yasham near the Gambachinu Bezachrena Sion, that there we sat and uh, there we cried as we remembered Zion. And the classic way of understanding that um, that that verse in uh, in Tehillim is that the Jewish people they're probably wearing tattered clothing, they're in they're in chains, and they're, they're they reach the 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 uh, the, the, uh, the Euphrates, uh, the rivers of, of Babylon. And uh, they're, they're crying and, and, and remembering uh, Zion. But the Malbim says that's not at all what the imagery is, uh, is, is being, being shared with us. Rather, what's uh, being conveyed is Sham Yashavnu, the word yeshiva, the word of sitting, dwelling in Tanakh, as often says the Malbim, yeshiva mamish. Is that the Jewish people, when they got to Bavel, maybe originally they were in change, maybe originally they were wearing tattered clothing, but those Jews do what most Jews do when we go off to other places. We make the most of the situation, and those people, they ultimately, um, they got jobs, and they built houses, and they, they nut the karam, they, they planted vineyards, says, says the, uh, says the, ma the mob in ban Banu Batim, they built uh, houses, and they became very, very successful. So successful that they, they settled in Bavel, Sham Yashamnu, that they were, they were happy, they were, they were, pro they were, they were proud, Babylonians uh, living acclimated into Babylonian society, and then it continues. Vegan Bachino, but you know what? We also they also cried once or once in a while. In other words, they were living in Southfield, they were living in Cleveland, they were living in, in, in Pittsburgh, in Toronto, wherever they they they, they're, they're, they were from. And you know, every once in a while, they remembered Zion. Zion. They had a nice uh, Yom Yom uh, Yerushalayim celebration, a, a, a Yom Asmut celebration, a Yom Azikaron Tekes. They sang Hatikva. They went to Camp uh, Stone, and they felt very connected. They 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 were they cried and they celebrated Israel. But they returned back home, back to Pittsburgh, back to Southfield, back to uh, to, to Cleveland. That was uh, was home, and they they remembered Israel. They they sang Hatikva. They danced the Hora once once in a while. What the uh, Tehillim is telling us, the Malbim uh, is uh, sharing with us, is that that's not the ideal. The ideal is wherever we find ourselves to be connected to Israel and to remember Israel, to celebrate Israel, but to not to be yeshiva mamish, not to not to make the mistake of recognizing that this uh, that here in Southfield is home. Southfield is just a temporary uh, existence. We're just here uh, for the for the for the moment in, in time, but our ultimate uh, home 
is of course Eretz Yisrael, and that's where we all belong, that's where all we yearn to be, and that's what Camp Stone is, uh, is, is all about. When I see the children in my, in my community who come back to Southfield after the, uh, the, the, the summer, they are, tra they are transformed. They feel so connected, and they, um, they're, they're, not only do they grow in terms of education, and be, be, they become passionate Jews, but they understand that the Jewish people, their ultimate home, is the, the land of, of Israel. And that's the ultimate yeshiva, that's the ultimate uh, dwelling place that uh, needs uh, to, uh, to be. So this may be the original home of Esti uh, Fleischmann, where she grew up, but now Esti understands with Yaakov, their real home is, of course, Eretz Yisrael, it's an Efrat, it's with the, the future and the destiny of our people, and Can Stone, for many of us, and so, so many of the children, of course, is the vehicle to uh, allow us to, to build that connection, to uh, feel uh, that the, the warmth and the love and the beauty of Israel, and ultimately, hopefully, to inspire each and every, every one of us, the children and all of us, to ultimately find our home, that yeshiva mamas, that dwelling, the ultimate dwelling, to be in, uh, in Israel. Wishing everyone a wonderful uh, and safe and a beautiful uh, summer, and uh, God willing, uh, we'll all be together very soon in the land of Israel.